What's up guys, GT here. So if you're like me and you're pretty much using the Axe FX to jam at home, you are most probably using the Axe Edit software to dial in most of your killer tones and not using the front panel as much. But that's absolutely fine, right? The Axe Edit is a really, really powerful and feature-packed software, which does one thing and it does it right. It gives you a graphical user interface to easily dial in your tones which to be honest, I find it a little hard to do from the front panel. But, but there are a few settings and features which are inside the AxeFX which are not accessible directly from the Axe Edit software. And the metronome happens to be one of them. Yes, the Axe FX 2 does have a metronome. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to activate the metronome using the front panel of the Axe FX 2. So without any further ado, let's dive into the front panel of the Axe FX 2, not the Axe Edit, the front panel of the Axe FX 2. And let's see how we can activate the metronome. All right, guys, so I've got the Axe FX2 front panel in front of me instead of Axe Edit, which we usually use because we're going to be using the front panel to tweak the metronome. So the first thing you want to do is obviously turn on the unit to be able to use it. And you're going to have to pardon my gigantic hands coming in the frame because I have to use them to operate the front panel. Once you turn it on, you are greeted with the Aries welcome screen, which is the Aries firmware. I am on Aries 2.0 at the moment. Now, the moment you board the Axe FX 2 up, you're going to be greeted with this screen over here, which is the preset. And this is the main display of the Axe FX 2. And on the right hand side, you have a bunch of buttons, which are really interesting to use. How do we get to the metronome? You're going to click on this tempo button here, which is going to bring up this tempo screen over here on the main display. And it's got five knobs in there, which are very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so the tempo and the tempo to use the first two knobs are something which are accessible through the axe edit as well which is pretty self-explanatory to be honest you can change the tempo of the preset and the tempo to be used can be set to at a preset level or at the global level the last two knobs the metronome and the metronome level are really really interesting and those are the ones you're going to focus on so i'm going to scoot over there and once i'm on the metronome knob it says it's set to off i'm going to change the value and set it to on the moment you do that you will start hearing a faint metronome in the background i don't know if you guys can hear that but it's there but if it's too faint for you that's what the next knob is for you can tweak the level of the metronome by changing this value of this knob here Now keep in mind that this is actually using the same output as your guitar. So if I turn it up too much, you're going to have clipping happening, which is not something which is desirable. So keep it to a level where it's comfortable to hear and definitely comfortable to play along with your guitar. You don't want clipping definitely happening in your preset. Obviously the metronome works with the tempo. So you're going to go and change the tempo. You can hear the metronome picking up speed or bring it down you can hear it slowing down and i'm going to go ahead and switch it off that's how we switch it off well that's pretty much it that's how you use the metronome in the axe fx2 and in case you like this video make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and in case you aren't subscribed please go ahead and do so i really do want to make more content like this and in case you want me to cover more of these buttons and what each of these buttons do on the axe fx2 front panel do leave me a comment below and i'll definitely get to them when i find the time and until i see you guys in the next video make sure you guys stay safe Keep rocking. Cheers. Bye-bye.